means baseball, and we have a lot of it as we begin another installment of State Champs Extra Innings, the weekly Michigan high school baseball show all season long. I'm Lauren Plant. We've got highlights, interviews, previews, and more. Extra Innings is made possible by Lawrence Tech. If you have the dream of college baseball, recruit yourself at ltuathletics.com. Let's begin by recapping this past week's coverage. We begin in mid-Michigan for a weekend battle as the defending Division I state champs and second-ranked Grand Blank went on the road at Flushing. The Notre Dame commit and MLB prospect David Lally Jr. on the mound for the first three innings in this one. He struck out six, topped 98 miles per hour on the radar gun. Lally hasn't allowed a earned run this season. Bobcats got contributions from a bunch of batters as they went on to beat Flushing 9-2 the final. Next to a Catholic League Central Division matchup, the defending D3 state champs currently ranked number one in Division Three, Gross Point Woods University Liggett battling D1's 15th ranked team, Brother Rice. Liggett got a solo home run from the junior and Texas commit Oliver Service in the second that put the Knights up two zip. Rice cut into the deficit in the fourth. Owen Turner coming through, RBI double scoring Alex Chessaman. Warriors trail by a digit but Liggett added insurance in the bottom of the sixth. Jack Jones with the ribby. Knights tacked on two more. Liggett goes on to beat Brother Rice five to one the final. Staying on the east side of the state for a Macomb Area Conference Red Division matchup, surprisingly unranked Macomb, Dakota, at home taking on the 18th ranked Utica Eisenhower Eagles. Both teams in the thick of things in the division. Bottom second, Alex Kovalik delivers the RBI base hit, added another run, and Dakota went up two after two innings of play. Eisenhower tied it at two in the fourth, but the Cougars scratched back in the bottom of the inning. Two on for Josh Adams, belts it deep over the wall in right center. Three run Jack, Macomb Dakota upsets Ikes. Expect them to be back in the top 20 next week. Finally, to the west side of the state for an Ottawa-Kent conference matchup, Byron Center taking on Lowell. Top three, game scoreless. Runners on second and third for the Bulldogs. Alex Wabin lays down the bunt. Steve Swisher hits home. Byron Center up one zip. Let's move to the top of the seventh. Bulldogs looking for more. Austin Krause doubles in Hunter Schichtill to put him up a pair. Kellen Payne would go the distance for Byron Center. Striking out five Lowell batters, Bulldogs, blank Lowell, 2-0. Our partners with the DMC want you to know if you're in pain or injured, the easiest way to deal with that is to make an immediate appointment. You can do that by simply logging on to dmc.org slash game changers. And speaking of game changers, the subject of this week's video is training the rotational zones of the body. Check this out. Hi, I'm Laura Ramos with DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. And today on Game Changers, we're gonna show you the three rotational zones of the human body and how to train them. Studies have shown that doing rotational exercises improve core stability, muscle development, and overall body coordination. And this is super important in sport because sport is really rotational. Most of our training, however, that we do is single plane, sagittal, just moving backward and forward. I'm here with Sam from Birmingham Seaholm High School and we're going to demonstrate the high to low chop. This is a great rotational exercise. Start out with your feet shoulder width apart. Make sure your knees and hips are straight and your shoulders are locked to your back. Grab onto your resistance pulley and keep your elbows straight. Now chop down rotating through your ankles. It looks just like that. And he's going to repeat about 10 repetitions. After that, he'll rest and do a second and third set. Now, some of the common errors that we see is first of all, the knee collapses in when he powers through, just like this. Make sure your knee stays straight. Another error is for your shoulder to come forward and it looks like this. Make sure you keep that shoulder blade back. The last error we see are the elbows bending. So as he chops, he bends his elbow. Make sure you finish and work right through this chop using your ankles like Sam. Reverse sides on the cable to work the opposite chop. So start in this position and chop down. Perfect, 
rotating through those ankles. Now, another common error that we see is as he chops down, he extends through his back. Good, come back through, make sure you're equal on both legs, keeping those shoulder blades solid and that core solid and chop down. For more sports performance tips, or to make an appointment with a DMC physical therapist or orthopedic specialist, visit dmc.org slash game changers. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Then go where the pros go. DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. For immediate care, call 313-910-9328 or visit dmc.org slash game changers. We thank the Michigan High School Baseball Coaches Association for partnering with State Champs. You know, every week on the show, we've got a segment called In the Dugout, where I talk with a head baseball coach from around the state of Michigan. This week, we talk to another soon-to-be Hall of Famer, another member of the 400 Wins Club, Parchments, Rob Dreyer. Just give us your thoughts on the MHS, BCA, the closeness of the group. What's your experience been like uh, with the Coaches well, it's a, Association? It's a great thing. I. I I hope everybody joins it uh, yeah. with a convention and the clinics. Um, the my favorite thing with the coach association is the All Star Game. Yeah, I got I had an opportunity to coach there a few years ago, and for the kids especially, this is a fantastic deal. I mean, it was so much fun for everybody. That's yeah. uh, and everything that our high school coach association brings to the table is just all good. Yeah. You know, you, you develop lifelong relationships with some of the coaches. You can ask advice if you need it. You know, everybody's always there to help you if, you if you need the help. You can listen to the entire conversation I had with Coach Dreyer on the Extra Innings Companion podcast. You can find it at Spreaker.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Just search State Champs Extra Innings. We'll also put up a standalone video of the conversation on the State Champs Michigan social media pages or on our website, statechampsnetwork.com. Now, before we go, here are some upcoming games featuring ranked teams we plan on covering on the network over the next several days. On Saturday, May 7th, we've got a great matchup between Division II's number three ranked Grand Rapids West Catholic traveling to Division III's number 11th ranked squad, Grand Rapids North Point Christian. On Monday, May 9th, Canton will travel to Division I's third-ranked Howell. And on Tuesday, May 10th, Division I's number four-ranked squad, Rockford, will travel to Grand Haven. And on Tuesday, May 10th, Division IV's number five, Rochester Hills Lutheran Northwest, will compete against D4's number 16th-ranked squad, Plymouth Christian. All of that, of course, is weather permitting. If you've got games you want to see here on State Champs, please send us an email. The address is contact us at statechampsnetwork.com. New episodes of Extra Innings drops Fridays across the State Champs Network. Thanks again for watching. I'm Lauren Plant. Let's do it again next week. State Champs Extra Innings is presented by Lawrence Technological University. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships available. Visit ltuathletics.com and recruit yourself. Also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Detroit Medical Center Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Team. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Go where the pros go. Visit dmc.org slash game changers. The Detroit Athletic Club Foundation's Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards. Who will be this year's Male and Female Athletes of the Year? Find out live Monday, June 6th, only on the State Champs Michigan Network. The U.S. Navy is recruiting. Call 313-315-2560 and talk to a local officer to find out how the Navy can take you anywhere from the sea to the stars. Oakland School's technical campuses are designed for any student who wants to graduate high school with industry certifications, on-the-job experiences, business connections, and college credits. Check them out at ostconline.com. And the Michigan High School Baseball Coaches Association. For information on awards, clinics, rankings, and this year's two All-Star Games, visit mhsbca.org.